Hello YouTubers, this is Champion DJK coming at you again with a 2015 detailed casting review. And today I'm excited to do this one. This is the uh, Cool Combi. Um, this was first seen in Q cases of two, 2014 Q cases. Um, and it has actually carried over. It was also seen in the A cases and I've seen some in B cases as well. Um, really like this casting. Take it out here. Cool combi. It is in the Hot Wheels City Surf Patrol series. Um, this one is definitely a poacher's favorite. People love to just empty the pegs of this casting. Um, and here it is. And I got one here I took out of the package. And this one is kind of messed up. There's a little piece of extra metal right there. Looks like the, there's a little piece of extra metal in the casting right there. But nonetheless, it's very, very cool. Um, this also happens to be the um, A-Case Super Treasure Hunt, um, which I do not have. Um, and I would love to have it. Unfortunately, it goes for a little too much on eBay, and I haven't been able to find one in the wild, and I probably never will. Um, but it's very, very cool. You see it's got the uh, Real Rider tires, a little more detail. It's a darker green. Very, very nice looking. Um, this uh, casting, or this, this vehicle, is actually modeled after chopped up uh, VW combis or buses, mini buses. Um, here's just a, two examples of that. Here's one in red. Somebody made it, so it's not really a production model, obviously. It's customized. Um, here's a really neat looking one. I thought this one was very, very cool. Um, the VW Combi was actually a version of the minibus that had removable seats so that you could use it for people or cargo. And Combi is like German for combination or something like that. So basically um, it was, you know, like today's minivan with stow-and-go seating, you know, or removable seats. Um, now the Combi was actually first in the main line in 2013 and uh, remained in the main line all th three years so far. So it was in 2013, 2014, and now in 2015. Um, here's, in the main line of 2013, it actually had um, three different color combinations. Um, and if you take a look too, the 2015 version does not have headlight tampos or a tampo on the VW symbol. Um, this is actually the first year it did not have this, which is unfortunate. It's still cool, but I wish they would have, you know, kept that those tampos on the front of the vehicle like they have on um, this version. So here's a, and this is probably the coolest version to me, is this, this version right here. Um, so here's the green one. It also came out in an orange. Still pretty cool. And a white. Pretty neat one as well. Um, in 2013, when it first came out, it also came out with a two special releases that year that are pretty hard to find, I guess. I mean, you can find them on eBay, and if you want to pay for them, you can get them, but they're quite expensive. Um, here's a Redline Club M&M's. Pretty neat. It's a nice gold color. You've got your M&M tampos. you got a two-tone roof color, which is cool. The actual the top of the roof is a different color than the rest of it. And then you got uh, the Toy Fair edition 2013, which is basically a Spectra Flame version of the green release with a little more added detail and, of course, Real Rider tires. Like I said, you can find both of these on eBay, but uh, they go for quite a bit. Um, then it was in 2014. Um, it, had, it enjoyed two different color combinations. Um, this would be my least favorite tampo scheme, though. You have a red one here. I don't know, I guess it's supposed to be some sort of wave or something. But you, do, you did still get the uh, headlight and uh, headlight tampos and the VW insignia and it had obviously some extra uh, tampo on the front as well. And there it is in blue with a yellow base, those two versions. Um, all these basically have a plastic or a metal body plastic base except for those special releases. And I know for sure that Toy Fair one I think has a metal base. I don't think that's metal. I think that's just a chrome plastic. 
So that may very well be the only metal base version. Um, very cool casting. Um, so this one, I really like. A lot of other people really like. A lot of people love this casting, and I'm definitely one of those people. Again, we're going to rate all these castings. One is I don't like it. Two means it's okay. Three means I really like it. And I really like this one. It definitely gets a three from me, and I'm sure it definitely gets a three from lots of Hot Wheels collectors. This is just one of those cars that um, even kids now that collect, if they see it later on in life, will probably remember owning it. It's a, it's a pretty neat casting. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.